Welcome back to What RT Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a Panzer Kampfwagen 2 Ausführung J. Yes, it's the dreaded Panzer 2J, the Seal Clubber Extraordinaire. It's located on the northeast born of Arctic region, otherwise known as Mannerheim Line, and is under the command of Mary Banks on her NA account. And alongside her, in platoon, is Walleye Guy in the Sexton 1. That's also a premium SPG. Well, the Panzer 2J, it's got a troll cannon which is capable with the APCR of penetrating quite a lot of uh, enemy armour. It'll go through 46 millimetres and at tier 3 there's not a lot of enemy tanks that have that much armour, except of course maybe another Panzer 2J. This, uh, this tank has 50 millimetres of armour front, back and sides which makes it very slow because it's very, very heavy. And uh, if two of these tanks meet on the battlefield on opposite sides, it can actually be very, very difficult for them to kill each other, if, if not impossible. Well, Mary's slowly moving down the north edge of the map. She can see some enemies there in the distance, but with the dispersion of these shells, you can see that Chances are she wasn't going to hit them. And it looks like Walleye Guy just got a hit on a looks in the centre there because you just saw a massive amount of damage done to that looks and he's running away. Now, the Panzer 2J isn't on sale all that often. Uh, Wargaming don't put it on sale that often because obviously, if they did, people would complain that uh, these tanks were seal clubbing and puppy kicking in the lower tiers where the newbies start. And so it's actually um, a good thing that they don't put it on sale that often because that means that you don't get uh, too many lower tier players actually getting hit by uh, this um, rather OP light tank. It is a light tank. I think we just saw Bad Wolf over there in the Pack 40. Yeah, the dreaded FCM 36 Pack 40, which is quite an OP gun in a very light French tank. Now Mary's just backing up. She's just seen a Stug 3B over in the distance but he's just too far away and she can't get an outline so not going to hit him at this range. Now Wary Banks has sent me replays in the Panzer 2J before and she's managed to get some nice medals. And just recently, we actually got a replay from somebody who got a Kolobanov medal in their Panzer 2J. Yep, the enemy were firing everything they had at it, including HE shells. And they were about the only ones that are actually capable of penetrating the... or well, not penetrating the armour, but damaging this tank. Now, as you may know, because I've mentioned it in some of the other replays, that we trying out a new method of recording now instead of um, using OBS we've decided to record using the Nvidia card because it does have the recording facility and that's to try and get stutter free replays and I hope you enjoy this that Panzer 1C is diving all over the place trying to avoid any fire and it looks like it was successful now we've got a looks over the other side that's um that's probably one of the few tanks that is capable of penetrating a Panzer 2J because he's got a three centimeter cannon which has got more than enough penetration to get through the armor of this little tank. Let's try and get into a position so she can shoot. There he is. He's on the move. I think she did get a hit twice. Once in the tracks, and one that went through the body of that looks. And there's another Panzer 2J on our team. Oh, now she's got a bigger problem. Panzer 4A. Now that, that guy's got the short barrel 75mm gun, which might not have much in the way of um, accuracy, but it does have a pretty big punch for this tier. So she's decided just to fire at the Coppola, which is easily penetrable and he's having a great deal of difficulty trying to get through Mary's hull. He did get two hits in with HE just straight off. Oh, looks like he's backing up to turn away. 
He's running. Go for it, Mary. Oh, she got a fire. She got a fire. She sent him a light with one of her last rounds. She reloaded, but she didn't need that last round because he was set alight by one of her previous ones and he burned to death. So she's got a kill. It looks like the looks has been taken out and there's now just a Stug 3B facing off against the Sav M43. It looks like we lost as well our Panzer 2J teammate who was around the corner. And the looks, the uh, rather the Stug 3B has just been killed by the Sav. And now Mary's decided to head for the cap. She's got five shells in the mag ready to go. It's a fairly fast reload. Oh, she spotted a pack 40. Oh, he's pointing his deadly gun in this direction. She's bounced one round. She's continuing to fire as much in as she can. It's 2.88 seconds between each mag load. And one more clip. Yes, got him. He just penned her with the last shot, though. And that looked like that was an arty round coming in at her. The enemy team's got two arty. And I suspect... Oh, she's found one. There is the M7 Priest. Now, he doesn't... Oh, he looks like he's pointing... Well, he's not pointing at us, actually. No, I don't think he can see Mary. Even though she's firing at him a short distance away. But he's certainly feeling her shells. One more shot. One more clip to kill him. That's it. She's got the kill. Unfortunately, Walleye Guy is now facing the attention of that crazy Panzer 1C. Who was driving all over the place to avoid Mary's shot. And it looks like, well, Walleye Guy probably isn't going to survive that encounter. So Mary's decided to head for the cap as the Katusha rockets, or Katyusha rockets, are starting to fly. So, yes, I'm afraid Walleye Guy just died. And there's still one enemy RT out there, an SU-26. She's found him! Okay, he's just missed her with his first shot. She's locked on. Just aim for the gun shield. That's it. The gun shield's the weak spot. And she's got him. That's a Pascucci's. And the enemy has started capping at the other end, but I don't think it's going to work because I'm afraid Mary has finally managed to kill off all remaining RT, uh, all the remaining enemies at this end. So unless he drives all the way back, and there's no way he's going to pen a Panzer 2J, Mary's going to win. Unfortunately, the Sav M43 moved into the cap area shortly after Mary did, and that means that she's not going to get an Invader medal. But they are going to win, and it looks like Mary has got the highest damage in the game as well. Maybe. And that's it, they've done it. Mary's won. She did take some damage during that game, but she's done it in the end. I think the damage was actually from that pack 40 it was rather nasty let's have a look at the end of battle stats and it keeps doing that recently i'm sorry i have to flick over otherwise they didn't get the results screen and we can see this a third class tanker for mary banks in the panzer 2j she managed to get a fine from effect for doing more damage than the hit points for her own vehicle a fighter badge for getting at least four kills she got four exactly a, a marksman a sharpshooter badge for getting at least 10 consecutive shots on the enemy and nastiness because she set light to the panzer 4 alsurung a as well as a master gunner for getting five armor penetrating hits in a row, a duelist for taking down two tanks who damaged her, and a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. But lastly, best of all, she picked up an epic medal in that game. She got a Piscucci's medal, she killed two enemy RT, the M7 Priest and then the SU-26, and that is very nice indeed. You can see the win eight from this battle was 8163. Very nice indeed. Super Unicum standard. So very well done to Mary. Let's have a look at team score and see 
What else she managed to get? Well, she didn't get the highest caliber, although she might have qualified for it. The highest damage was actually done by the Hetzer, who got a high caliber for 1,601 hit points, slightly more than Mary managed to get. The Matilda on the enemy team managed 1,453 before he was taken out, and Mary got 1,268, but she didn't get taken out in the game, and of course she got the Pascucci's. The Panzer 3E managed to get a cool-headed, and the Panzer 1C got a Spartan, and the Pat Stug 3B on the enemy team, another cool headed. When it came to kills, it was shared between Mary, uh, got four kills, and the Matilda on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, it was Mary with 962, the highest base XP. Not only enough to get over 1,000, but 539 to the Pack 40 of Bad Wolf, 487 to the other Panzer 2J on her team. And that was Zoe Balls. Yes, I just noticed it just now. Uh, I didn't realise this was whilst uh, they were platooning on live stream. And uh, Zoe was in the Panzer 2J. I'm sorry I didn't notice your name on that one, Zoe. Only in the end results do you actually spot. Oh, it was, Mary, it was Zoe. Let's have a look at the uh, detail report. Well, Mary Banks fired 238 rounds in that game, got 137 hits and 110 penetrations. Damage of 1,268 hit points in total, all of it at close range. She received nine hits from the enemy. Only one was the penetration, and that was the shot that came from the Pack 40, uh, the dreaded Pack 40 with that 75mm gun with great penetration. Six non-penetrations and two hits by way of splash. Yes, she was fired at by the Panzer IV Alsterlung A with... Uh, HE rounds and they do have an effect. She blocked damage of 440 hit points, she spotted three enemy vehicles, damaged five of the enemy, killed four and did 65 capture points so not enough to get the uh, invader medal unfortunately on this occasion, needed another 15 capture points to get that. If the Sav had come in just a little while later then she would have actually picked up an invader as well but uh, on this occasion settled for the Pascucci's. She earned 31,539 credits for the game, but the ammunition costs a fortune and she actually ended up with a loss for the battle of 63,871, is that? My eyes, yes, 63,871. Quite a lot, but she will make that bat in no time. 1,443 XP times 2 for the first victory, 2,886 for completing a mission, and 866 for this being a premium vehicle took away 6,638 experience points altogether. So I think that was quite an enjoyable little battle. <laughs> and it's quite funny that it was Zoe in there. I just didn't spot that. But uh, Mary's the one who actually carried the day. Four kills, puts her in the top scorers alongside that Matilda, and she won the battle for her team. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel, please. And thanks for watching.